If you have many users on multiple PCs, maybe a Windows 8 tablet even, and you're all connected via the network, creating a home group allows you to pick and choose what files you want to share with others. And it's user-based. In other words, each user has their own settings. We're going to take a look at home groups now. Right from our start screen, let's go to our settings by using the keyboard shortcut Windows I. Over here on the right-hand side, we're going to go to Change PC Settings down in the bottom right-hand corner. And you'll notice on the left-hand side, we have a Home Group category. We'll give that a click. Now, if you're already connected to a home group, you're going to see a list of options that you can turn on or off. And if there is a home group available for you to connect to, you'll also see that here. And it looks like somebody named David on David's non-Mac PC did create a home group. And all I need to know is the password, which I would type in here and then click join. So you do need to get the password from the people who create home groups. Now you can create a home group from control panel. Once it's created, a password's generated for you. Of course, you can change it at any time. So if you already are connected, you'll see a different list of options here on the right-hand side. If you're like me and you're ready to join one, you'll see those options appear. Now once you're part of the home group, you have access to shared folders that other users have decided to share with you, but you also have to pick and choose what you're going to share with anyone else on the home group, and that's what's going to happen here next. So you'll see that you're getting connected, changes are being made, and then by default, really nothing is being shared. If you wanted to share your music, you just click the slider. Want to share your pictures as well? No problem. And remember, these are default folders and libraries created, and by selecting the shared option, other users, only those in the home group, will be able to get access to those. Now a little further down, you can also include all devices on the network like TVs and game consoles being allowed to play any shared content. So if you want to allow those types of devices to access your content, go ahead and turn that on. I'm going to leave mine off. Now you're going to see the password down below. And if you wanted to, you could leave the home group at any time and then rejoin. Again, you would need that password to get joined in. So that's a quick look here in the Windows 8 section. Let's go to our old desktop environment. We'll press our Windows key, click the desktop, and let's go down to the bottom left-hand corner now. We'll right-click our Start Tile and go to Control Panel. From here, you'll notice there's a Network and Internet section. We'll click that heading, and in here, a subheading for Home Group. We'll click that. Now from here, you're already going to see what you've chosen to share. Pictures, music, videos, that's what I selected. I can change what I was sharing by going back to those settings in my Windows 8 environment, or I could do it from here as well. Clicking the link allows me to go in and change it from not shared to shared. I'm going to add documents and take out my pictures. When I click Next, you'll see that I have changed and updated my settings. Clicking Finish shows me those new settings. Notice that we may also see messages across the top. Home group is currently sharing libraries, and then that disappears, and you can see the changes appear right up here. I can also change that option to allow all other devices on the network to access my shared content. I'm not going to change that one, but there are some other actions down below. So we can view or print the home group password so we don't forget it. If I want to take a peek at it, there it is. Pretty simple password. I could print the page. I'm going to click Cancel. And we can also, if we wanted to, leave the home group from here. Change advanced sharing options, something we're going to talk about a little bit later on in this chapter. So we'll skip over that. And you can see there's that Start the Home Group Troubleshooter link that allows us to figure out what's happening when we can't join a home group. But here in Windows 8, it seems to be all automatic. And if there is a home group, you're going to see it there. You will automatically create home groups from Windows 8 when you're connected to the network. So you can go in and turn on any sharing options. The home group is created if there isn't one already. And again, you'll have a password that's generated that you need to share with others if they want to be able to access your home group. So let's close this up. Go back to our start screen by pressing the Windows key on the keyboard and we'll continue from here.